it's Nick and welcome back to the channel and here I have Lego Transformers Age of Extinction Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. And before we begin, I'd like to say that we are so close to 500 subscribers, so please consider subscribing. And also, I will be doing a Q&A for my 500 subscriber special, so if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, you can leave that in the comment section down below, or you can DM that to me on Instagram. So, something you've probably seen in the title, or maybe even the thumbnail, was that I mentioned this being a Buster Prime. Now, those of you that are familiar with the Revenge of the Fallen Leader class Optimus Prime mold, you probably know what this means. But if you don't, I'll explain here. For that Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime, there was a version of it called Buster. It was called Buster Optimus Prime, I think. There'll probably be a picture on screen. And with that Optimus Prime, the gas tanks which are located right here, could transform into a gun for Optimus Prime. This guy can do it. But it's not the gun that you're probably expecting from Age of Extinction. I made that separately, and if you're wondering why the colors are a little more vibrant, that's... Let's just say I have something planned in the future. But yeah. Here's his gun. Pretty cool. So, man, that front is just, is just not, not going together. It's supposed to look more like that, but that's just not, whatever. So this was originally supposed to be a Rise of the Beast Prime, but I just, I just didn't like the way that it was turning out. So, Evasion Mode Prime it is. You can also see that he's missing a tire here. I guess it kind of adds to the aesthetic, but I don't care. Also, the t the wheels are red. I don't have any more of the light bluish gray color for those. In the back, you can see his hands and a hinge, and here is the trailer hitch. And back here are the mud guards. I was going to print out a sticker and put the got ammo. I think that was what was on the mud flap. I was going to put that tag on the mud flap, but I guess not. You can see it from the other side. This side looks a lot better. And something I want to point out is that this Optimus Prime oops, has opening and closing doors. Pretty cool. So, on to comparisons. First is a minifigure. That's pretty close to minifigure scale. If I saw that, I'd, I think that's pretty close. Here he is next to Age of Extinction Evasion Mode Prime. This guy's painted up to... I don't, I don't know what I was thinking with this. It's kind of like the movie color scheme, but like... If it wasn't as weathered, but there's also no flames. I mean, there are flames in robot mode. But whatever. It was pretty poorly done. I did this like, like six or seven years ago. So, on to transformation. Here we have uh, Age of Extinction Evasion Mode Buster Prime in his robot mode. And I think he looks really good. The only like minor complaint that I personally have is that his shoulders could be farther apart to better facilitate a Optimus Prime-like silhouette because his shoulders are pretty far out from his body, at least from like what I've seen from CGI rem renders. Or maybe I'm just misremembering things wrong 
I think he looks really good, and he's pretty clean. The smokestacks are pretty much where they're supposed to be. They should be a little bit farther up into his chest there. But I think this looks good. His trailer hitch does end up sort of where it's, it's supposed to be down here. At least on the original trilogy uh, Optimus Prime CGI model. So it's close enough. Sure it isn't facing you, but whatever. I know you can't see all of him. So just take it back here. Here you can see his legs. Now, if you watch the transformation, you can probably see a similarity with this guy's transformation and my 2007 Optimus Prime's transformation. This guy's leg engineering is just about the same. Very, very similar. So you're getting that Revenge of the Fallen style transformation for the legs, just without the feet transformation where they extend. So the side parts of the cab do end up on the legs, which helps to mitigate a backpack. Another thing that I forgot to do actually is lower down the wheels so that they look a little bit more nice. He also does have the wheels on the feet, which you do get the correct wheels on the correct part of the body with that Revenge of the Fallen style transformation. So something you probably saw, saw if you did watch the transformation as well is me take off the gas tanks. That's because they have their own little transformation that I don't really remember. So, try to keep this all in frame. Just trying to think it through. Okay, yeah, that's making sense. That moves down. Okay, yeah, it's, it's coming back to me now. So, there. There is, I believe, his right gun. So I think that moves that to that side or that side. I can't remember. Yeah, it's pretty messy. It's not as good as the ones I made for my 2007 Optimus. You could see that video, probably linked in the description. Who knows? It's one of my most popular videos. So you'll, you'll be able to find him. And I'll just transform the other one off camera. So yeah, there are his guns and just opening up the hand and ripping off the thumb. That clip is very fragile, so I'm just not going to clip his thumb joint back on. The ball joints that I have are pretty loose, so he can't really hold. It actually might just be that joint there. They're pretty loose, so it's kind of hard for him to hold up the guns, which I'm not worried about because I'm not going to get this guy into any serious poses. There you go, his other thumb. Oh well. Speaking of posing, let's get into articulation. He has a universal joint at the head, so we can look up pretty well down. He's got a swivel there. Uh, he's got that. He's got that. There's a ball joint inside there, so you might be able to get some slight butterfly rotation. I believe I already, already mentioned that joint here, but that's just to get that angle. Um, and you can get like about 90 degrees like that, or you can cheat, kind of bend it a little bit farther, but that looks a little bit weird. The chest pieces are on ball joints, so you can articulate those basically any which way you want. You can kick forward this much, kick forward that much, out to the side. Not really that much, about 90 degrees of bend, and he's got a ball joint at the ankle. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to check out my LEGO Transformers playlist, like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. And if you have any questions for the Q&A, please leave those in the comment section down below. And remember, till all are one, goodbye.